Welcome to the scholars learning classes. In the previous video we started about the transportation of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the, uh, in the cells of the body of a human being. Now we will be studying about the transport of water and minerals in plants. Right. Now see, all part of plants need water, minerals and food. A transport system moves all these minerals throughout the plant. Now your flowering, if I talk about the flowering plant, then flowering plants have a well developed transport system called a vascular system. Now the vascular system is composed of two pipe-like vessels known as your xylem and your phelan. Now let's suppose this is a tree. Right. Now this is your xylem. This is your yellow one is your felon. Right. So here your blue one is your xylem and the yellow one is your fell. Now see these xylem and phelum are a tube or you can say pipe like vessels. Now what are their functions? If I talk about xylem then it is going upwards. So what does xylem do? It transports the water and mineral from roots to the tip of the leaves. Now when the food is being made by the leaves in the form of glucose, what phelum does? Phelum, it transports the glucose to the other parts of the plant. Now in phelum the movement is from the root to the leaves and in the uh, sorry xylem. In the phelum your movement is from the leaves to the roots and to the various parts of the plant. Now the question is that how does this water reaches to the uh, xylem in order to transport it to the tip of the leaves. Now what happens? The plant absorbs water and mineral by the root. Now the root has root hair. Now root hair increases this root hair. It increases the surface area of the root for the absorption of water and mineral nutrients dissolved in the water. The root hair is in contact with the water present between the soil. These are the soil particles. Now this root hair, it takes and absorbs the water and minerals from the soil. 
Plants have pipe-like vessels to transport water and nutrients from the soil. The, from the xylem, from the cortical cells, it transports to the xylem and the xylem takes this water and minerals to the tip of the leaf. Now, the vessels which is xylem and phylum are made of special cells forming the vascular tissue. Now a tissue is a group of cells that perform specialized function in an organism. Now the vascular tissue for the transport of the water and nutrients in the plant is called xylem. Now the xylem forms a continuous network of channels that connect roots to the leaves through the stem and branches that transports water to the entire plant. Now the food that is being prepared by the leaves is transported to all the parts of the plant. This is done through the vascular tissue known as your phylum. I have already told you about the xylem phylum. They help in the transportation of substances in the plants. I hope you have understood uh, uh, everything what I taught in this video. If you have any doubts, any questions, do write me in the comment box.